Do you know how many times I have been fired from a job in my life? I'll give you a minute. Go ahead and think about it. Five times, guys. Five times, and those are just the times that I can remember. <laughs> Basically, I've had a lot of jobs. Let's put it that way. I started working when I was 16 years old, and I actually wanted to start working way before that. I tried getting a job as early as 14, but I just couldn't get the jobs. But that's not what this video is about. A lot of people out there can relate to getting fired. I'm sure most of you out there watching this have been fired at least once, or maybe you were recently fired from a job. And so today, I want to go through all of my firing stories that I have with you and kind of poke fun at them, but also on the more serious side, give you guys some tips of what you might want to do next. Now, for those of you who are new and have no idea who I am, welcome to my channel. My name is Michael Bordenero. I've been working here as a real estate agent in Miami Beach for the past 12 years or so. And so basically, I've been self-employed ever since then. And then obviously being on YouTube here is not really a job. It's more just fun, really, if you ask me. However, I haven't had a job in a really long time. The last job that I had was in 2009. That's the last time I worked a job. And that was the last job I was actually fired from too. So let's dive into these stories. The first time that I was fired from a job, I was actually pretty young. And the story kind of sucked for me because what happened was the very first job I had, I was working at a retail store. And I probably worked there for about six months or so. I think maybe even a year, I'm not sure. I worked there for a while. And then I had an opportunity through this car dealership that my uncle worked for to come and work in the detail department. And I took the job because back then I was making like $5.25 an hour, something like that. That was minimum wage. And this job was offering me like $7.50 an hour. So I was going to get like, you know, $2.25 more an hour to do this job. So of course I jumped on it. So I quit that retail job. I went to this car dealership job. And what ended up happening was they hired me and just a few months later I got fired because the company wasn't doing so well and of course I was the low man on the totem pole, got canned. Obviously that wasn't my fault, whatever, it is what it is. That story is not too funny, but it's my very first experience with getting fired and I was pretty upset back then because I left a good job to get that one. Well, it wasn't a great job, but I didn't have any problems with the job, you know? I wasn't experiencing any issues with the management or the job itself. It just didn't pay a lot. So basically the thing is this, I've worked a lot of jobs between the time I was 16 when I got my first job all the way until when I had my last job, which is when I was 22, 21 years old, 22. I was 22 when I had my last job. The second time I got fired after that, I was working at a furniture store and this was back breaking, bust your ass physical labor, like real hard work. I was working in the warehouse section of a furniture store, moving huge mattresses and sofas and things like that around the warehouse and putting them on trucks and unloading trucks and wrapping them up. You had to be very strong to do this job and it paid okay. And to be honest with you, I totally can't remember why I was fired from this job. I really have no clue why because I've had so many jobs and that time in my life was such a blur that I just can't remember a lot of the jobs that I've even had up to this point. I think at one point in the past, I counted how many jobs I had, and it was in the neighborhood of 10 to 14 jobs I had between 16 and 22. So yeah, what is that? That's six years. I had about 14 jobs. It's quite a bit. All right, so this is where <laughs> things start to get funny. The next job I had that I got fired from was Papa John's. I was working at Papa John's as a pizza delivery driver. And I actually liked that job a lot. And I think I was probably 18, maybe fresh out of high school when I started this job because I was working there daytime delivering pizzas as well as nighttime, so I don't think I was in school anymore. But the funny thing about this job was I got along with everybody there for the most part, but then there was a guy that came in called the night manager. And I guess he had a problem with me because I ended up getting fired for one of the stupidest reasons you've probably ever heard of. So apparently, Papa John's has this rule where you can't have a full beard like I have here. And mind you, I was in Illinois and this was the middle of winter we're talking here, so it's freezing, right? So I had the full beard like I had now. This guy says, no, 
you can't have the full beard. So what do you have to do? He's like, you need to have a two to three inch gap right here. So that means no hair in this spot. You can have the goatee, you can have the sideburns, but you can't have the full beard. Does that make any sense to you? It sure as hell didn't make any sense to me. I thought it was a joke and I probably called him some stupid name and he fired me like right there on the spot because I thought it was so funny and I knew the guy was on a power trip and I just, I couldn't help myself, you know? I couldn't hold back the laughter basically of laughing in his face for how stupid this was. Basically what I think it all boiled down to is Lizzie, my wife, has a theory that the guy was probably jealous of me because I looked much better than him. His beard was like very patchy and looked like peach fuzz and he didn't have this wonderful man mane like I have so he was probably just jealous and he just couldn't handle the fact that he was in charge and one of his employees had the better beard. I guess. Who knows, whatever. So if you think that story was good, now we're gonna bring it up a notch, guys. Now we're gonna talk about my first job here in Miami. My first job here in Miami, I worked at the Best Western Hotel on 41st Street, which is still there. You can still go to this hotel, and they probably still have the restaurant inside, which is where I started working. And I only worked that job for like five to six weeks. I got it shortly after I got here. I probably landed that job within a week or two after getting to Miami and it only lasted a short month, month and a half. And I got fired from that job for drinking on the job, believe it or not. And I know that might sound kind of stupid to you, like why the hell would you do that? But let me just explain myself for a second. Basically, the restaurant would get really busy around dinner time, you know? Seven o'clock at night, whatever, people would come in, eat dinner. But then by, you know, nine, 9.30, it starts clearing out, right? There's not really many people in there eating dinner anymore, and sometimes no one, because it's just a restaurant inside of a hotel. You know, it's not a restaurant out in the street. What used to happen was the shift didn't get over with until like 11 o'clock or midnight, something like that, and they had a bar upstairs, and all of us used to get kind of bored. So it was like me, a few of the other waiters, and also the bartender upstairs where we get bored, huddle together, and one night the bartender just started pouring us a couple drinks. And we just started drinking, you know, we thought it was fun. Nobody was around, like the management wasn't around, like no one seemed to care, like no one was gonna do anything about it. But I guess we all forgot that they have cameras and they caught us on the cameras and they pretty much fired all of us on the spot. It was a pretty funny thing actually. Like the next week they brought like all five of us into the office at the same time and said, what's this, you know? They showed us the videotape and said, we gotta let you guys go. It wasn't a total surprise or shocker, I guess you could say, to get fired from a job for that reason, but nonetheless, it was pretty funny. Now, down to the very last job that I can remember that I was fired from, and this was the very last job that I actually had. So the last job I had here was at Norman's Tavern, which is right here in North Beach, right by where I live up here, and I, that was the very last job that I've ever had because after that I transitioned into the real estate business full-time after getting fired from this job. What happened at that job was actually pretty aggravating because everybody there used to like me. All of the clients, you know, all of the customers that came in there, all of the co-workers, like we had a good relationship. And I worked there for a good year, year and a half before I ended up losing that job. When I first started working there, I was making around $700 a week cash. And that wasn't bad back in those days. We're talking back in 2008. But that was maybe only for like the first six months that I was working there. And after that, business started to kind of really slow down. And the thing that sucked is I was the food runner over there. And in case you don't know what a food runner is, you're like the bitch. You basically do everything. You take out the trash, you clean up the tables, you bring out the food from the kitchen, you, you know, clean up underneath the pool tables, you restock the bar, you restock the refrigerators, you make sure all of the ketchup containers are filled. Pretty much all of this crap that no one else wants to do, right? The waiters and waitresses just focus on their tables, the bartenders are serving drinks, the guys in the kitchen are just cooking, but you, you gotta do everything. So that kind of sucked, the job, but it paid good, and I liked everybody I worked with, and people were cool there. So I stuck around, you know, the money was good. But what ended up happening is as things started slowing down, they wanted me to continue doing all of this same amount of work, but I was making about half the amount of money at that point. At that point, I was bringing home maybe $350 to $400 a week, 
and the money had slowed down quite a bit, you know, almost cutting in half, which made living pretty tough. I was still able to afford my bills, but you know, there wasn't much left every month after all my expenses. So it wasn't a very fun existence at that point. And needless to say, who would want to put in the same amount of effort for half the pay, right? Nobody wants to do that. So naturally, my effort started slipping, and it was right around that same time I was going to school to get my real estate license, and I ended up passing out my real estate card to all the people at the bar there who knew me and some of my coworkers because everybody knew I was going for the real estate test. They were all proud of me for passing, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to drum up some business right away. And it was even something that my office encouraged, obviously giving out your business card to people who know you. So, duh, I did that. But for some reason, the owner there was a complete asshole and thought that this was somehow a conflict of interest and then used that as like the excuse to fire me even though I was working in the real estate business and this is like a bar slash restaurant. So there's really no connection there. I couldn't like steal away any of his business. I wasn't opening a new restaurant, you know? But anyways, basically how that went down is one night after the dinner rush, it was around 9, 10 o'clock at night, the manager pulled me out outside and he's like, you're done. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. I'm like, oh, you're letting me go early tonight? And he's like, no, you're done. Like, go home. You're done for good. Don't come back. And I was like, what? It was totally out of left field. Like, I really wasn't expecting to get fired. And the thing that sucked about getting fired that time is it was one of the times when I really wasn't expecting it, you know? And I didn't have a backup plan in place. Of course, I just got my real estate license and I knew that was going to be my new career. But I also knew I couldn't start making money with that tomorrow. So it really put me in between a rock and a hard place. That's where I want to kind of bring this down to a different level in the video. Because I'm sure that's how most of you guys feel if you've ever been fired from somewhere. It kind of puts you in this precarious position where you don't really know what to do next. So I want to talk about that for a minute. So the first thing is, is every time I got fired from one of these jobs, I really didn't let it bother me too much. And most of that time I was living still at home with my parents. So it wasn't like a huge financial threat to me. But those two times I was fired here in Miami, it was a financial threat to me. But I still didn't take it too seriously or too hard. And here's why. Because even back then, and I was still younger, you know, in my teen years and my early 20s, I still knew back then that if you lose a job, it's not the end of the world. There are so many other opportunities out there. You know, people used to say, well, it looks bad if you've had a lot of different jobs and things like that. But I always kind of ignored the status quo advice on that and just kind of went with my instincts because also I looked at having all these different jobs as life experience, you know? You start experiencing what you're good at, what you're not good at, what you like doing, what you don't like doing, you know, dealing with different personality types, especially terrible bosses. Hello, Peter. What's happening? I think it's really healthy to have a wide variety of jobs because it just gives you that well-rounded experience in life that you might not get otherwise if you just get one job and you work there for 30 years and then you retire, you know, you don't have all those different experiences to go with. But it helped me realize something about myself, which I kind of knew deep down way before then, but I guess all these things just confirmed it. And that was that I knew I wanted to work for myself. I knew that I couldn't deal with any of these asshole bosses. I knew that I needed to be in charge. I needed to be the reason to wake up every day and do something, you know? I was tired of going to work for somebody else and they're getting to see all the benefits of my hard-earned work and all I got was a few bucks out of it. And that was it. And definitely no reward or no praise outside of the money because I was unfortunate enough to never have a cool boss my entire life, really. Which I guess might be normal for a lot of people, but I know other people that have had good bosses, so they do exist. I just never was lucky enough to have one of them. But since these experiences confirmed to me that I knew I wanted to work for myself, it pretty much gave me that green light in my mind, you know, to just say, you know what, just go straight ahead with real estate and that's what I did. Instead of looking for another job after I got fired from that last job, I just dove headfirst into the real estate business and I was able to start making money within a few months. It took me about three months before I ever made a dime, but guess what? I was working seven days a week. I was at the office almost every single day 
trying to learn the ropes, trying to get new clients, trying to figure out how the whole thing works because I had a fire under my ass. I had to get things going. I was running out of money. I needed to be able to pay my rent and to pay all my living expenses. And also I knew the faster I get this career off the ground, the better because I'm gonna be just better off mentally and financially. So it was kind of just the push I needed to get things going, really. So the point of this story is, as horrible as it might be to get fired from a job, just know that there's always going to be a bigger and better opportunity out there for you. I can promise you that. There's always going to be. You just need to keep that in mind anytime you ever lose a job. Always look at it as a door opening and never a door closing. Now, if you're watching this and you are like me and you're just tired of working for a boss and you want to work for yourself, then go ahead and check out this video I did right over here. It's all about a few simple tips on how to run a real successful business because I think the formula is very simple and it all just boils down to a few things. So go check that video out and I will see you guys over there.